And Mr. Palladino joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Judge. You heard what uh, Andrew Cuomo's camp had to say about your remarks. They call it a stunning homophobia and glaring disregard for basic equality. Your response? You know, at first he called me an anti-Semitic. Now he wants to call me a homophobic. I'm not a homophobic. I, I have no reservations whatsoever uh, about uh, uh, gays, the only e except for marriage. I don't believe that. Well, they let, let me be press you on that because your, your your remarks yesterday seem to go further than that. You say you don't want uh, kids to be brainwashed into thinking that homosexuality is an equally valid or successful successful option. It isn't. And you talk about the example to our children uh, set by homosexuality, and you say we, it shouldn't happen, certainly not in our schools. So are you saying that uh, gay men and women shouldn't teach in our schools? No, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that uh, I have a nephew, and my nephew is a wonderful boy, and he's gay. And I see, the, I see uh, the difficulty he suffers every day with discriminatory people. And I think that's the root of that. You know, I, Andrew Cuomo said he took his children to a gay pride parade. I was at one in Toronto one time. We stumbled on it, my wife and I. And it wasn't pretty. It was a bunch of very extreme type people in bikini type outfits grinding at each other and doing these gyrations. And I certainly wouldn't let my young children see that. You do say that kids, that you don't want people to be brainwashed into thinking homosexuality is an equally valid or successful option. That sounds like you're suggesting homosexuals are less valid, less successful human beings. We have extremists in every, in every uh, walk of life. People that go that extra, they have to display, they have to flaunt themselves. And that's my, generally my remarks are talking about his uh, uh, acceptance of uh, his activity of going and to taking his children to go see a gay parade. Do you believe I, homosexuality is a choice? I've had difficulty with that. My nephew tells me uh, he, he didn't have that choice. And I, I believe it's a very, very difficult life for, for a young person. I believe that young people should not necessarily be exposed to that uh, uh, without some really, really uh, mature uh, background first before they, and, and so they, they can learn to deal with it. It's a, it's, a, it's a very difficult thing. And I sensitize with it totally. This, these remarks uh, by Cuomo's camp and, and the news and the, and the Post are totally taken out of context. It started with a remark that I uh, excised from a statement that had been drawn. Yeah, I wanted to ask and you I about that. that. I took that statement out. I, I, I wouldn't say that. Right, the and sentence it was, was, it was there's written nothing in by to be some, proud of in being a dysfunctional homosexual. That was not my, I, I would not adopt that uh, uh, How did wording. it get into your prepared remarks? Because it was in the prepared remarks and it was distributed after the mm -hmm. speech, yet when you were reading the remarks, you skipped over it. My remarks uh, I dictated in general a to a, uh, a person, okay, who put that in there. I, my first reading of it was really quickly in the car just as we were getting out, and I, I saw that remark and I crossed it out on my sheets. And uh, I, I got inside and I read my remarks, and then uh, afterwards, uh, uh, somebody in the rabbinical uh, group uh, uh, distributed it, uh, distributed that what what had originally been prepared, but it was crossed off, and I refused to say it because it's not true. It's uh, not the way I feel about things. You mentioned uh, the different charges, the various charges that Mr. Cuomo has made, saying you're a racist, saying you're a sexist, and so much of this is rooted in those emails that you have admitted to sending around. Yeah, but George, you know, the my my, uh, my problem with all that is that the, the press does not hold Cuomo to the same standards that they hold me. Anything he says, they come and they, they shoot at me from every possible angle. And as you well, probably know, he said, these are your emails and we're not going to mm -hmm. show them because they're pretty out there. Well, we've been over this topic time and time again. OK, it's uh, it, it's something that they used originally to uh, try to define me. The people have heard it. They know that that I've apologized for to anyone who's offended by me forwarding emails that have been sent to me. Do you concede at least that the comments you made yesterday could be seen as insensitive in the light that they come in the same weekend where you've had the biggest anti-gay hate crime in the history of New York City? No, I, I, uh, uh, I think my comments were directed at, at just the, the confusion 
that people have had over this issue. I wanted to clearly distinguish that my feelings about homosexuality were no different than those of the Catholic Church. I'm a Catholic. I have 7.5 million Catholics in the state of New York. I wanted to make it clear what my position was, and I think I clearly defined it. Uh, I only have one problem with homosexuality, and that's their desire to be married. And beyond that, I don't have a problem whatsoever. Okay, Mr. Paladino, thanks very much. Thank you, George.